Hey guys, are we as Christians more known for what we're against or what we're for? Got a minute? So I think that if you talk to a normal person off the side of the street and ask them what a Christian was or what it meant to be Christian, they would tell you a lot of things that we are against. Well, you'd have to be against abortion. You have to be against alcohol. You have to be against strip clubs. You have to be against, and the list goes on and on. Is that really what we are called for? Is that really what we're called to be? Paul said this, For God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are making our light shine. But if all our light is doing is saying, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, then all of a sudden we are the same as the law that we weren't able to carry. No, we have to shine our light and we have to build up this treasure inside of us. The light that's shining inside of us has to be able to be seen. And that means that we have to love people. In fact, we'll know that we are growing in our relationship with God when our love for other people dwarfs our opinions about them. It's no longer about the do's or the don'ts. It's, that's my future adopted brother or adopted sister, and they're hurting themselves in the ways that they're living. And that heart doesn't always get displayed in the, we're against this and we're against that. So it is time for you to make a stand. Make a stand to shine the light of God and change what people think of whenever they think Christianity. Thanks for taking a minute.